Hello everyone. Hi, how you doing? Let me know down in the comments. Bash one out! Don't say you're just doing fine, be honest about it. Don't tell me everything, because it's, it's none of my business to know everything about you. Just let me know how you're doing today. As far as me, I'm emotionally fucked up. Psychologically fucked up. I'm all over the damn place. Pissed off earlier, and now I'm calm. This type of emotional roller coaster it just shouldn't be this extreme this fucking fast, you know? just fucked up. I'm fucked up. So, just let me know how you're doing. Just something to take my mind off everything else going on. <clears throat> Um, Balto's doing a little bit better. He hasn't thrown up that I know of today. Of course, I was asleep half the freaking day, so... Out of the half the day that I've been awake, he hasn't thrown up. He's doing a little better. He's still a bit naggy, though. I hope he's recovering from whatever happened. I don't know what it was. <clears throat> I'm not a biologist. Out of all the stuff I know, didn't know how to help him. That's crappy. <clears throat> Well, why not just talk about my day? A friend invited me to go into a party and play Warframe. Then he got sidetracked, as he always does. Left the party, so I said, okay, screw it. You're not focused enough. I don't want to deal with that right now. I'm just feeling like shit. <clears throat> so I went back to watching YouTube videos. watched a bunch about the uh, fan theories and all sorts of other theories on Avengers 4 that uh, had a trailer release. <clears throat> I haven't even seen uh, Infinity War. I'd like to have a DVD or a Blu-ray copy of that so I can watch it. As well as when uh, Endgame comes out. I'd like to have a copy of that. But I'll get to that when, whenever I can get to it. Are you sitting at the door because you want to go outside? If I open the door, it, it's in or out. It's, it's not sitting in the doorway until I get tired of you sitting there and close the door. Yeah, hang on a second. Right, in or out? Come on. I'll, I'll see you later, alright? Oh.
right now is well not right now I paused the video watching uh, some I don't know prepper youtubers after watching a bunch of inf informative videos after digging up information the pattern becomes quite clear shit's just getting worse that's exactly the way I told that idiot Griffin in jail socially people are breaking the fuck apart mentally emotionally no respect, no honor, no discipline, no self-control. And this one dude's, uh, what's this, euphemism or metaphor he's using? Saying there comes a time when the sheepdog just says, fuck it all, these sheep aren't worth protecting. Well, that, that happens when, when you overpopulate and you're using too many resources, like a virus. Humanity can't sustain infinite growth. This planet doesn't have enough surface area for infinite growth. Take a look at inflation. The price of living just keeps going up. And, and if you think you need money to exist give it a few years give it some patience and just watch the rising cost of living just keep going up I've been watching it go up for my whole life 31 years of being alive and the price of a loaf of bread quadrupled in less than five years All kinds of shit is just weighing down on my mind. All kinds of shit. And all that uh, inflation does is put stress on everyone. <clears throat> so all the corporations and everybody wants to make more money because they think they need it, but they don't. So that puts more stress on people working jobs. Well, what do they do with that stress? They take it out on their kids and neighbors. The kids get online games and take it out on other kids in online, online games. and It just goes around. The stress is not dissipating as fast as it's being produced. It's just sitting there like a, a pool of toxins. And what do the normal people with jobs do with all that stress? They pile it right back on to the people making up all the rules and shit in Congress and whatnot. Bitching at them through hate mail. <clears throat> Angry letters. That's just a small portion of it. The biggest portion of it is the overwhelming, overwhelming volume of concerned people writing in about shit. It's just too fucking much. Look at it psychologically. There was a study. I don't remember. It's a, I forgot. But I was... Uh, I do remember a bit of it. The average person can't remember more than a few hundred people. Like a few... A very small amount compared to the billions on this planet. <clears throat> and you've got like a couple of senators for each state. 
just in America alone who have to represent millions per person. That's a lot. There's no way they can remember everybody they meet. There's no way they can represent the best interest of every single fucking person. And that's where you get another form of psychology coming into play. Cliques and, and groups of friends. <clears throat> like what happens in high school. You get the popular kid click. You get the fucking emo or the goth. And nowadays you've got all these different uh, spectrum of faggots. Fucking homosexuals who don't want to say they're homosexual. All this social unrest. Because they don't know how to fucking handle the stress they're going through. Because their parents are just adding more to them. And the other kids at school are just adding more to them. So what the fuck are they left to do with? It's all a big cycle feeding back on itself. A feedback loop. And you could, uh... You could liken it to... If you hold a microphone up to a speaker, and you get that ringing sound, and it just feeds back until either the microphone craps out or the speaker blows. What's going to give in this feedback loop of societal unrest and stress? All you people in charge. Money needs to be devalued to the point where we're managing our resources and money fades out of existence. Money needs to go away completely and entirely. Humanity needs to be weaned off of the, the thing of money. I mean, it could have been a great tool to train people to think about resource management but it's not being used that way. Even at that. It's not the only problem now. Like five years ago, it was the source of all the problems. Now it's just like one out of many sources of the problems. So the symptoms have mutated and grown into problems of their own. Kind of like getting shot in the lung. And if you just leave it there, eventually you either bleed out or your lung fills with blood and you asphyxiate. See, it, it goes from being one source of a problem to two sources of a problem, and it just keeps going from there. So, two things I've noticed that are sources, money and the overpopulation. And from that you get greed. Um, apathy. Apathy is a huge social problem. So is greed. And it went from one thing and now it's four. And that's just right off the top of my head. And when I sit and think about it... <clears throat> I start to agree with some conspiracy theorists and some doomsday preppers and some normal preppers. A very small portion of them are saying the only thing that's going to help change 
is a massive, catastrophic global event that shuts down everything that's currently going and wipes it all out, clean slate. Because like I heard some years ago when I was younger, some of the older people I talked to said the world's going to hell in a handbag. In many ways, it feels like it's already there. But, if typing out a comment, letting me know how you're doing today helps alleviate some of your stress, That's good. It's not a permanent solution. It's more like letting some steam out of a release valve. <clears throat> so in the comments, everybody, just let me know how you're doing. And I hope that you won't mind me reading some of your comments in another video later. If not, then let me know. <clears throat> Just remember, once you post a comment, it's there for everyone to read if they want to. So, don't go off being rude to someone else. They'll just add to their stress. If you don't want to empathize or sympathize, then don't. Just let the comment be there. Just let it be perspective for some semblance of reality in all of this <clears throat> apathetic stress. This apathy inducing stress. <sighs> and then take a moment to breathe. Kind of like what I just did. Just take a deep breath, hold it for a moment, and then let it out. <clears throat> now there you go. And of all the problems, the best I can do right now in this video is to offer you a a little release. Not completely and not a permanent solution, but maybe it's enough to help you get through the rest of your day or night, whichever the case may be. For me, it's evening right now. But just let me know how your day was. <clears throat> Mine was slow, even though I slept half the day. Slow, but mixed up. Fucked up in a way. <clears throat> After all is said and done, like or dislike, don't forget to comment. Let me know how your day was. Look forward to reading some of your comments. Till next time. Bye.